lineup? Oh, uh, I think it's a good lineup. Uh, I, I believe that uh, our CM has thought it over. Uh, he has, or uh, we have won 76 seats. And there are so many possibilities, so many people who can be deployed in all these ministries to run this government. And I believe the CM has met his choice based on uh, all the parties' uh, contribution. And, and uh, we, we should all respect that. Yeah. The, the beauty of uh, this, uh, the beauty of GPS is we all work together. The beauty of GPS is we all work together. And that's why we are successful today. And that's why the people support us. The pe people, the rakyat support us. If we are divided, we grumble and squabble among ourselves. Uh, I think we will not be able to do as well. The beauty is we are together. We are united under GPS, under CM Abang Jo. That's the beauty of GPS. And together, we will ensure that we will deliver. That's the important thing. As GPS, we will deliver all the promises, all the projects that we have promised our people and get things done. That's the important thing. We get things done. Kita bukan cakap sahaja. Kita lepas cakap, kita buat. Kita deliver our promises. I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, our appointed ministers. I would like to take this opportunity to, to congratulate Dato Sri Dr. Sim Kui Hien, my president. We have fa finally, we have finally reach our goal. We have someone from SUPP who is now the Deputy Chief Minister of Sarawak. Uh, this is something we all, uh, we all uh, look forward, we all appreciate and we will all treasure this opportunity given. The, and uh, together as GPS, uh, together as SUPP, we will strive to deliver the best to our rakyat. I would like to congratulate also, you know, uh, all the other ministers who have been reappointed, and I would like to congratulate uh, Michael Tiang, our POSEC, for being appointed as the deputy uh, minister, together uh, with uh, our president under his ministry. I think this is important because uh, Michael Tiang, together with YB Michael Tiang, together with Dr. Sim, will be able to ensure that the local government, the agenda of the local government, will get, uh, will get delivered not only in Kuching and Miri, but Cebu as well. Looking at the results that the uh, SUPP had uh, achieved this uh, election, mm -hmm. do you believe that the Chinese are, are coming back to support SUPP? Um, initially, I was a bit disappointed with the low turnout. But again, there was a rain eh, to be blamed, the rain to be blamed, and the COVID to be blamed. Uh, there was a low turnout among the Chinese community. But uh, looking at the results, looking at the results, uh, I, won't, I won't want to say it's all our, um, how do you call it? Mm, um, uh, all because of GPS. I think part of it is because uh, Pakatan Harapan has failed the entire nation, including Sarawak. And DAP is part of Pakatan Harapan. And because of that, the community at large, including the Chinese community, uh, is disappointed 
And because of that, a lot of them supported GPS. Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a cycle, I would say. If it had not been for the 22 months for Pakatan Harapan to prove themselves, for Mahade, Dr. Mahade to deliver his promises, and which he didn't, and which, uh, you know, uh, Pakatan Harapan has failed us. We may not have such good results. Again, I would like to say GPS worked together. GPS did not split up. Even although there was a lot of adversity, P PSV came in, you know, all the other parties came in. It's the first time I see so many parties competing in this election. And not just so many parties, local parties. It's the first time. But I would like to congratulate the people of Sarawak, our Rakyat especially, for being so matured in their thinking. For being so matured in their thinking. Our Rakyat knows what they want. Our Rakyat sees who can do what, who can deliver, which party, which person. And because of that, the best people were chosen into the government. And uh, I would like to encourage everybody, I would like to encourage all our GPS um, YBs who have been elected, including myself, to always remember to work hard, to work hard, to start working hard, to deliver, because that is what has won us the support, the, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh? the, um, the recognition. It's the hard work that we have put in the past five years that has won us the recognition that we deserve today. I would like to encourage everybody to continue to work hard and to deliver under the GPS uh, government. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. My friends out there, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for following me on FB Live. I'd like to say, uh, have a good weekend. The weather has been uh, good uh, recently. Uh, you know, even though it's cloudy and it's rainy sometimes, uh, the weather has been holding very well. But uh, let's not forget that this is the end of the year. It's December, end of the year, and we always uh, we tend to have more rain at the end of the year. So let's be vigilant. Uh, let's be prepared for any floods that may occur in the few, in in the days to come. Yeah, as the rainy season gets gets on the way, let's be vigilant. So enjoy your weekend and uh, school children, enjoy your holidays and uh, yeah, adios, bye bye.